welcome to dear younger self today we're going to talk about how to make decisions or how to make decisions faster i have discovered one core challenge in the young generation today is about making decisions if you think about it we make decisions all the time but the ones we struggle with are the ones that we think that might have life changing impact we don't wake up in the morning and decide to brush our teeth we just do it but if you're changing jobs or moving countries or any significant decisions this is where you're presented with the paradox of choice and this results in slower decision making because you get lost in the thought process so today's episode is all about unpacking the black box of decision making how do you make decisions faster how do you know the decisions that you're making are the right decisions and more importantly how to recover from bad decisions because we are all going to make bad decisions and that's okay the fundamental challenge about decision making is over analyzing we look at all the different angles and we get lost in this spiral of facts and information and over analyze every single thing and it makes decision making really slow i go back in time when i was 18 something the internet was very young so the information available out there was very limited in fact the challenge was to get information in the first place this meant that the decision making process was maybe a bit easier less information less complexity ignorance was a bliss if i flip it to today and look at the internet is very mature in the year 2000 there were 361 million internet users globally today we have nearly 5 billion users globally according to cisco by the year 2025 the internet will produce 175 zettabytes of data 175 zettabytes you ask what does that mean if you were to download 175 zettabytes of data at today's average internet speed it will take you 1.8 billion years let me repeat that 1.8 billion years that's how much information is out there on the internet no wonder we are confused no wonder we're not able to make all these decisions faster because there's so much information out there and how do you sieve through all of that information so you have the right facts so you can make the right decisions i'm of the opinion that this infinite amount of information on the internet has caused chaos in the decision making process we end up with several choices and we're not able to make decisions we keep spiraling around or going round in circles with the decision making process and potentially lose out on the opportunity whatever that may be there is this amazing quote by tony robbins and it goes decisions decide destiny there's no action without decision i love that quote is so powerful so we know that decision making faster is important but how do we actually do this i'm going to give you six tips today hopefully that will help you in making decisions faster first one is about understanding what is important to you what are your principles what are your must haves what is something that you will not compromise on list them down and when you're making any decisions always go back to that list that these are my must haves and i will never compromise on that and the reason this is important is because it will help you focus on the right things that matter to you so that's first second one is a 1111 rule or four ones rule is it a one minute decision is it a one hour decision is it a one day decision or is it a one week decision your time is valuable start by categorizing your decisions in those four ones category something very trivial like brushing the teeth as we said earlier doesn't even take us 10 seconds not even a one second it's subconsciously there so you just decide to brush your teeth but there are some decisions you might take a minute and that's okay so don't spend more than 1 minute on those type of decisions those are trivial decisions but others you might take an hour or longer and sometimes you even take a week or or, or more so if you're moving to a different country you're not going to decide that in a minute you're not even going to decide that in a week it will take some time so classify your decisions 
in those one, 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 one category and value your time and decide accordingly. Third one is, do you have all the facts and information to decide? And if you don't, start by collecting all the information, all the facts, all the data that you need so your decision making becomes clearer. Having all the facts and data and information really helps you cut down from the clutter. It really does. It will make things really clear. Once you have all the facts and figures, you can go back to number one and look at what is important to you and start forming some kind of decision in your mind. Of course, you don't have to decide all of that by yourself. So that leads to my fourth point or fourth tip, which is get help. Ask your friends, your family, your colleagues, or even go to experts. There are a lot of people around you who are willing to help you or they are even experts in the field that you need help with. So reach out to get some help. Once you've got all the facts and information and data, and you've gotten even help from someone to decide about whatever you're trying to decide, give it time. Some decisions will take some time to come to fruition. It's not about instant hits. So have some patience and figure out when would be the right time for you to decide whether this decision that you've taken is a right or not so right so you can figure out what to do next and that leads me to my final and the sixth tip is to figure out all the things that might go wrong so can i reverse the decision so looking at all the different angles and being prepared for something that might go in a different direction i think keeping your emotions in check and keeping calm is really important when you're going through a very big decision and if especially if it doesn't work your way always going back to the first point which is what's important to you, your principles, your must-haves, really keeps things in perspective. So if things are not going in the right direction, go back to your priorities, go back to your must-haves, and maybe revisit that. Did you get something wrong there? And try and figure out whether it's time to figure out your must-haves. Maybe it's time to change them in the first place. And of course, if things are not going in your, uh, in your direction, there's always help available. We talked about that. So seek help if things are not going in the right direction. A decision by committee is better than a decision by yourself. So always seek help. So if I could go back in time, dear younger self, your principles are important. Figure out your must-haves. That's number one. Number two, your time is valuable. Apply the four ones rule so you can categorize your decisions. Number three, gather all the data, facts and information so decision making becomes clear. Fourth, get help. Ask your friends, ask your colleagues, your family, or even get expert help. There are a lot of people around you who are not only willing to help you, but are more capable to help you in certain areas. So lean on them to get help. Number five, give it time. Patience is key to success. You should in fact watch my other episode about patience and how mangoes can teach you about patience and how giving time actually is key to success and sixth stay calm and think about what could go wrong so you are prepared happy decision making